let's um let's get a different view on this because we're going to be putting in an image we want to make sure everything gets lined up well so i'm going to hit enter one time that's going to put in a paragraph break uh, i think we can go ahead and delete uh, the dummy heading and text there since we are uh, pretty far along in our text formatting let's go ahead and go up to insert image that takes us directly to our assets folder let's get the image we want which in this case is a table i designed this uh, table in word i'm going to paste it in as an image you could also design a table in html my accessibility box i give it a good clear name for my non-sided viewers and there it is now let's make an important point here i pasted in an image from another program and whenever you start pasting in images from different programs that you've created those images haven't necessarily been formatted for viewing on the web if you create a big o tiff image in photoshop or a big jpeg image in powerpoint or word those are going to be big o honking images that are, are going to slow down your website and interfere with your learner's experience unless you optimize those images for web viewing. So let me show you how to do that in Dreamweaver. The first thing we want to do is to make sure we have our image selected. And we're going to go down and click on Edit Image. The Edit Image pane comes up. As you see, we've got a big old preview there. Take a look at what we've got up there. So look at those uh, numbers up there. As of now, our image is 33.28K, and that image would take five seconds to download on the slowest bandwidth out there, which is 56K dial-up modem. Five seconds is a long time to wait for an image, and you must consider always the lowest common denominator whenever programming these websites and you don't want somebody to wait five seconds to download that image. So let's see what we can do with it. Let's go over and see what other options are available to us. Right now it's PNG 32. Let's see what will happen if we go to PNG 8. Wow, that takes it down to 16K, cuts it in half, and it will take only two seconds to download. And we're looking at the preview, and I don't see a whole lot of difference between the two. So I think I'm going to go with PNG 8. We definitely want to uh, select adaptive. That means only part of it will, will come in. The browser won't wait until the whole image, whole image is loaded before it starts showing things. So that's why you want adaptive. Uh, let's check out a few. JPEG looks like that's going to be 112K, 18 seconds. And that's at, that's at 80%. That's that's not good. Let's let's check out uh, GIF. GIF is not bad. That's four seconds, but we know we can cut that in half by going with PNG8 and really not lose anything. So let's go with that PNG8 adaptive, and uh, we have now optimized that image for viewing in a web browser. 